everyone, I'm Caitlin Slater and I hope that you had a really great day today. I just wanted to share with you this recipe, this smoothie recipe that I just found out about yesterday when I was watching the Hallmark Channel and I was super excited about it because there's this ingredient in it called Moringa. I had never heard of it before. I don't know if you've heard of it, but it was just so impressive some of the things that uh, Sophia Uliano, who's one of the healthy lifestyle contributors on the Home and Family Show, she was saying that this native plant to India has seven times more vitamin C than oranges, 17 times more calcium than milk, 10 times more vitamin A than carrots, nine times more protein than yogurt, 15 times more potassium than bananas, and 25 times more iron than spinach. And I was like, this seems so hard to believe. Like, how can something be so healthy? And I was just super excited to try it. I went over to Sprouts and I gotta show you, I got these, you can get these little packets, um, these Moringa packets. And so I made the smoothie and not only is it super healthy, but it's also really delicious and really easy to make. So if I can do it, you can do it. Just thought I would share with you today. So let's get to making the smoothie. The first thing that you're gonna do is you take your little packet like I showed you just a little bit ago, and we're gonna pour the Moringa. Get the whole thing in there. All right. Then next, you're gonna wanna put a cup of frozen pineapple in there. And then you're gonna also wanna put a cup of frozen mango. Ooh, it looks delicious. And then one frozen banana. My banana's getting a little, <laughs> a little mushy from sitting out for a while. Then you're gonna put 16 ounces of either coconut water or I'm using unsweetened vanilla almond milk. Um, it's up to you what you prefer, but that's just about two cups. I'm gonna pour that. Sorry, you can't even see what I'm doing. Okay. Then you're gonna put one fourth of a teaspoon of, here I'll show you what I bought. This is turmeric. Ooh, it's kinda got a glare. But anyways, um, one fourth of a teaspoon. And then you're gonna put some ginger, which ginger, again, like I said, it helps you from getting sick. Uh, not. I love ginger and it's not just because I'm a ginger myself. <laughs> I love it and it was an acquired taste, not something I liked when I first tried it, but the more I kind of ate it, the more I started to like it. Um, next, you're gonna take one teaspoon of cinnamon and this is something that, uh, you don't have to put this in there, she said. She was just saying that this is just optional if you like cinnamon and who doesn't like a little bit of cinnamon this time of the year? And then, Something I, I learned something new, a little sprinkle of pepper, just a teeny tiny bit, and she said that that actually helps your body to absorb the turmeric better. So whenever you got turmeric, you might wanna add a little bit of pepper, helps your body absorb it. Then she said another option, you don't have to put this in there, but if you want to um, make your smoothie a little bit more sweet, is to add a couple dates, like two or three, she said. So I'm just gonna add two dates. So next, I'm just gonna go blend it up and then I'll show you how it turns out. All right, I, <laughs> all right, I just finished blending it. And um, all right, oh yes. I'm just gonna pour it in here. And I mean, it kinda doesn't have a beautiful color to it, but just think of all the good things you're doing for your body. Mmm. And not only that, it is so good, you guys have to try this. It is my new favorite smoothie, the Triple Threat Smoothie. And I'll have um, a list of all the ingredients and exactly how to make it again on my blog on CaitlinLeeSlater.com, so go check it out. And do something good for your body. Thanks guys for watching. I need some good